yo, 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 what's good, what's, what's good for the people? On? For the people who don't know what's going on, bro, go ahead, introduce yourself. Uh, what's up, man? It's your boy Ziggy, man. You're checking in. That is global, bro. You already know what's going on. Nah, for sure, for sure. Nah, I hear the Ziggy, man. Tag everywhere yeah, in the DFW sure. right now. Like, you like, you really put your, your stamp on the Ziggy, man, like, with that tag. What made you even go to tag route? Uh, I went to tag route because that's, it's really all about branding. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Branding yourself. You do a beat or a composition, I mean, compose compose anything and you just want your name to be heard you feel what i'm saying and you know for people to hear your name that's just a part of branding now your name been on a lot of hits coming out the dfw here lately how that feel uh, it feel good man all the work i did is paying off you feel what i'm saying and i'm just gonna continuously keep working keep striving you know what i'm saying just be my stamp nah for sure for sure bro now what like what does hard work look like for a producer on the producer side of it like uh like but hard work, you know what I'm saying? You just, you know, you gotta have ten thousand dollars plus in this, bro. Sure. For sure, like you, you can't, you know, it is breaks is necessary, but at the same time, you gotta be doing something other than music to benefit show music. You feel what I'm saying? Sure. And like, you know, when hard work, you just see everything. You know, you get more placements, you get, you know. You know, more people engaging into what you got going on. I feel like uh, producers helping other producers. You know, now the tox, the producer community is so toxic now to where like, if you see if if somebody see a fellow producer doing that thing, you know what I'm saying? They start to hate on them or whatever. It's starting to get like that. I feel like that's in every field, though, bro. Yeah, like, it is. It's it in is. every field. I think it's like a but like. Go ahead. It went. It, it probably was like that. You know what I'm saying? Earlier than this, but like when I got deep into it, I realized that like a lot of people, man, you know what I'm saying? They try to dim me shine because they see you coming up and they might be bigger than you. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, nah, so sure. now, yeah. like, uh, I interviewed Stay Down Lil B yesterday, yeah. and he was saying like he moved to Atlanta, like on a, on a rap tip that, you know, like, even at the bottom, it'd it be people at the bottom that just really just don't want to see you come up, or it'd be people at the top that don't want to teach you stuff. Yeah. But for the main part, it's like it's mostly like people of our color, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. That don't want to help each other. Like you being so young, like have you experienced that yet? And 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 if so, like why do you think that is? Like you know what I'm saying? Like why do you I, think that I, is? I experienced it yeah, a hundred times, but you can't let that stop you. And like you know, it if, if this your gift, and you know, and you believe in yourself to where you're gonna be like, all right, bro, I'm finna do this. Yeah. Then whatever they try to hold thing up on you, whatever the case may be, you're gonna go through that. It, it's not really what they think about you, is, is you gonna do this or not. Of course, I done had, you know, people, you know what I'm saying, try to do whatever or hold me back from, you know, I've been in situations, but there's a reason why they where they are now, or, you know what I'm saying, something happens to them because they're not being good people. Oh, so, like, yeah. But I say to why we like that is because you know they just don't want to see you win, bro. And I hate it to have to be all cool, but we gotta fix that. Um, but sure, sure. that's what it is, bro. Yeah. Now, bro, uh, like I said, you got you got a hell of good placements here in the DFW. Most of the hottest songs is to your beats right now. Yeah. So like, what's your creative process like when you when you making beats? Like, what do you need to to get in your zone? Uh, all I need is like. You know what I'm saying? A laptop and my uh -huh. speakers and my headphones. Do you have any like producer, like uh, any producers you looked up to? Like, like yeah. damn, I like how they did that. Uh, first producer I looked up to is they told me. Okay. Then it got to the, you know what I'm saying? I started looking back, looking at the Timberlands. Now, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, just, you know, doing my homework on producers and then I look back, see who started the shop, who started this, who started that. So now, like, everybody I see, you know, I learn from everybody. But my first inspiration was that talk. Okay. Yeah. So, so now, how long does it take you to make a beat? Uh, like, five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes? Yeah. And that's, like, a full... Yeah, five to ten minutes. Damn. Yeah. It's, it, it's plenty of studio sessions where I make a beat, then, like, they go, they get, Whoever, whoever in there, they get in the booth right after I do the beat. Do you like so, do you like that better than just sending beats off, or do you like actually being in the studio? I like the actually being in the studio because you get both perspectives of the project that's being worked on. Yeah. So you know, like you get both points of view of something. I think it. I think that's when uh, 
more good songs are made than me sending them email. Even though I do that too when I'm not there and they need, you know, you know they call me or they send something to this. Yeah. If I'm not there at the time, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? But I prefer being in the studio with the artists. So, so yeah. now, bro, like, what's your chemistry like with Big X the Plug? Uh, I met him a few times. Uh, we've been in the studio a few times. Pretty cool dude, bro. You know what I'm saying? We made some good music together for sure. No, for sure. Like, that's, that's, I feel like that's where I know majority, like, me personally, like, I be hearing you a lot off of X, like his yeah. songs, I, I mean, I'm hearing them everywhere and I'm hearing your tag with them, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, shit, that's, that's, a, that's a dope look. Now, who's some of your favorite artists to to work with? My favorite artists? To be in the studio cooking up for? Uh, I've been in the, I'd say X is one of my favorites that I was in the studio cooking up with. Uh, I really like everybody that I work, I don't think I just really put out a bad track out, so like, yeah. Everybody that I work with, you know what I'm saying? I really like working with them. Are everybody you? that's, every, usually, mostly everybody that's in my credits, like I know them personally. Okay, you know so are you reaching out to any new artists? Like, damn, you hard, bro. I wanna, I wanna see you something. Or is, is, is there anything that going on? Uh, slightly, like not really. Like, I probably need to start doing that, yeah. but I'm not really doing that like now because you know everybody coming to me. Right. Like, I don't really like, you know, I'm really not. I don't be reaching out like that, but if I do think an artist is pretty dope, I might do it, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Now, what, like, from the producer side of it, like, what you think about the market here in Dallas as far as the rap scene? Like, do you feel like it's like, I, me personally, I feel like artists here aren't that good. Uh -huh. When I say that, I mean like they're not making top quality music to where we can compete with other markets on, at a high level. I feel like that too, it's, it's, it's kind of a drought. You know what I'm saying? But the best, on the producer side, the best thing for us to do, cause you know what I'm saying, it's really not, you know, nothing going down like that over here. So I say the best thing for you to do is venture out. You gotta go out to the city, bro. It's yeah. the only way. No, for sure. Yeah. I, I, I totally agree, 100%. Yeah. Now, uh, I ask though, bro, because I feel like, Everybody be saying like the city got so much talent, which we do have a lot of talent here. That's the thing, that's the sad thing. We do have a we lot got, of talent. We got talent, but you know, it's, it's always some the business bad or yeah. you know what I'm saying, beef. That's right. a major thing. Yeah, not nah, fact. Business bad and you know, a lot of egos can't work as a team, you feel what I'm saying? It's all bad. Sure. And sure. there's a lot of wasted talent going down the journey because a person don't like another person or there's some animosity between somebody. Yeah. It's always like that. For sure, for sure. Now, uh, can we expect like a, a Ziggy Made It project, like an album? It's already went out. Came okay. out in December last year. Okay, damn. Yeah, Ziggy Made It compilation. All right, and what made you want to do that? Uh, it's always been an idea of mine. Uh, I had so many unreleased songs. Who, that and who featured on that project? Uh, we got Yell on there, Big H the Plug, DLG Strap, RP. We got uh, Jose Bardega. Uh, Mike Fritz, Lil Runny. Yeah. Uh, Lil Runny, but, and then we got, uh, I said, yeah. That's it, right? Oh, yeah, Gunna Music. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a solid, solid tape. Yeah. Uh, you, you mentioned BFG Strap, bro. That was one of my favorite artists in the city. For sure, for sure. How many tracks did you guys have together? We had like four or five. Yeah. I feel like he was one of the best rappers in the city, bro. He was. He was, bro. He was one of the best. And he, he was like, he was like so authentic with it. Oh, for sure. sure. I remember, uh, I, I, we had a session, we had two sessions. You know what I'm saying? Before KF, I had got closed down the wood. We was in there and then, like, I had went, I had went with him. Um, and we had did a session, like, right in his uh, crib. And we had did, like, two songs. So yeah, I would, yeah, I was definitely. Have you, if you can speak on his work ethic, like what would you say, like him in the studio? He's pretty straightforward. Like as soon as we get in there, he like, you know what I'm saying, load some up, go do some beats, and he just straight punching in and like do a song in like 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, okay, that's right. Yeah, he was. Now, uh, like you mentioned beef with the artist, like as a producer, like, from your angle, like, what do you think personally about artists beefing? Because, like, I know if you, you hear certain artists, you'd be like, damn, he'll sound good on a song with this, yeah. with this dude. But 
politics and whatever else they got going on, you can't even put them on a song together. So like, what what you think about that? I think he just mad for being this, bro. Man, tell it, like, you need to tell it. I don't think people understand, like, hey, bro, like, y'all missing out on so much money because y'all can't even. I mean, but they know that. And they Do you think so? Yes, bro. Damn. I mean, just, they let the ego get in the way, bro. Or okay. if it's an opportunity for them, they'll go out their way to blackball whatever they think they got going on. If they got the power to, they'll do it. Because they know that they finna make some money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but, yeah. It is, bro. And I like, agree. You know, even though, even though, like, Atlanta, for example, even though it's, it, it's cracking down right now, but at the same time, like, before that, you know what I'm saying? They had the ability to clean stuff up more. That's why so much good music came out of this city. Yeah. I feel like it's not enough. We don't have no people making, forcing people to to do songs with each other or forcing people to be cordial with each other just yeah. so for the benefit. Because they went to beat too. Why though? I don't know. Is that, is that just Dallas or what? Because I, I feel know. like people come to Dallas, bro, and just, it ain't like, they just do whatever. They do, bro. And it just, it really no formula or structure behind why, you know what I'm saying? And most of the people that blow up, venture out, they go. Right. And they don't never look back. Right. Cause they see, they go back. Something gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, then you, ha then you have the people who knew you before you ventured out and be like, oh, he wasn't nothing, he can't come back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Give him a reason not, you know what I'm saying? And stay focused on what they got going on instead of venturing out. I don't feel like, you know, they, Shit about back and prove they sell. It's just shit. It's a better life. I'm talking shit. So why go back? Now, bro, uh, Trap Boy Freddy project just dropped. Yeah. A standout track to me is standing on business. Yes, sir. That's his Ziggy made a track. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it was like a Louisiana feel to it. Yeah, for sure. Like so, like what? What was your motivation with that boy? Did you cook that up in the studio with him? Nah, I didn't cook that up in the studio with him. Uh, it was. It's actually a crazy story behind that beat, but I mean. But like, but I actually, I sent the beat to Yellow months before this. Okay. Months before this. Months before this, more than one time. Okay, okay. And you know what I'm saying? So we, you know what I'm saying? I was talking to Yellow about it. He was like, yeah, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he gonna rap on it. Track never delivered. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't getting nothing from it. So now I sent you the track. Track, he called me. He was like, what is hard? It's hard. Yeah. Send me back the song in like two, three days. You know what I'm saying? Then I heard it. Oh yeah. Nah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. That's one of the standout track on the album. Yeah. Uh, that, I don't think that's the, your only track on that one. Nah, it's not. What's the other one? Uh, I think Stick 'Em Up. Stick 'Em. Oh yeah. yeah, stick, yeah. stick 'Em Up hard too. Yeah. Memphis type beat like. So yeah. we're like, man, what 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 vibe you be in when you making these beats? Like you go back and you listen to some of the old music or or what? Nah, I just feel like I'm just like that, bro. I don't be, I don't be going back to just like, I don't go back to listen to some music. I just, I go well, I go with what the flow is. Like, I create a beat. Whatever vibe I'm feeling, that's what I do. Like, I can do anything. You know what I'm saying? I switch it up. So I you just have one pocket with the beat? Nah, just no, sir. Burst. No, sir. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, so I, I, I can switch it up for sure. Now, uh, do you ever see yourself like uh, signing an artist? Uh... Out of the stuff I've been seeing, like people dealing with artists and stuff, I feel like I'm not, not right now, not yeah. right now. No. You don't have like your own personal artist, you like, man, I believe in it. Like, I, I want to see him go. You know, I feel like that time gonna come, but you know, sometimes you just gotta focus on yourself first, you feel what I'm saying, before you even think about doing anything else with somebody else, you gotta make sure you straight first. So, so yeah. now, uh, any producers you want to collab with? Uh oh yeah, forgot. Uh, if y'all know, uh, I'm I'm locked in with the big dog, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Double A, shout okay. out Chi Chi, you know the baby producer. Shout out uh, in in the city, I know uh, uh, shout out Eighty Eight, shout out um. I can't think of them right now. Nah, it's all good. But it's like, all good. I'm locked in with every, everybody that's in the city making those. I'm pretty much locked in with it. Let me ask you this: Do you feel like producers making more money than the artists these days? Yeah, uh, most of the time. Why? Why? 
because like our job is like we we the we responsible for this album. Yeah. We responsible for it. No beat, you gonna just have what? Vocals on the album? No. Like then to be real, like the beats be carrying the, the song. Well, the song. I can't we respond we move the music. You feel what I'm saying? We move the way your head about. And I feel like y'all be more producers be they business be way better together yeah. than the artists. Yeah. Like, artists don't know like the real business side of their music. Yeah. And we but we have to because you know, like the, t the sometimes we don't get enough credit that we deserve and the attention not always on us. But at the same time we do though, we do, but we should be getting as much credit as the artists. If, if not so much, cause we responsible. We the one who made you, made you want to rap on the beat. That had to be first. That had to be first. We move the sound, we move the energy. Before vocals, before mixing, before mastering, it's always composing. You know what I'm saying? We responsible for that. That's what I feel like, yeah. So, so now, about how many beats you think you, you, you do a week? A week? Oh, I thought you was finna say a day, but a week? Oh, like, you never had time with you, like, man, I don't even feel like dealing with, listen to this right now. Well, I definitely got slumped. I had slumps before, but it's probably lasts for like two days or a day, at, you know what I'm saying? If that, probably like a couple hours, but every day I make at least like five to six beats. It didn't kind of came down a little bit. It used to be like, Eight nine, but now it's like five to six. So, so now, bro, you done had some pretty big placements here lately. Yeah. Travis Scott. Yeah. Lil Uzi Bird. Yeah. Who am I missing? It's uh, another big name I'm missing. G Herbo. Herb. Uh, Bill. Uh, we had we got you know of course Yellow B, Chop Boy. Um, we got uh, T G Combs. Mm. We got uh. Yeah, we got a lot. We got, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the main ones. Man, so, like, I, 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 Jace, yeah. Jace, yeah, Jace, yeah, yeah. Now, seeing Travis Scott and Uzi do videos to your beats, like, I mean, you know the song, I'm pretty sure you know the song from the come out, but, yeah. like, seeing them really, like, Performing. vibing with your beats, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, how that make you feel? Man, you know, that, when I first seen it, I couldn't believe it. You know, you just Travis Scott was talking about. He just dropped one of the biggest albums just now. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, it's going to be a big record. You feel what I'm saying? That just me putting the $10,000 in. It's just me, my work, reflecting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so now, uh, people always say Dallas is slept on. Yeah. But with people like you here, like, making big, major moves, like, mm -hmm. what do you think? Like, because obviously, like, you in the mix. Like what's, what? What you think? Like, how can we, as the like here in the city, bro? Like, how can we? Uh, I don't want to say capitalize, but how can we make this as big as possible? Everybody got to come together. So we do. Once mm -hmm. everybody come together, it, it, we can't be stopped. But like when you say come together, like come together how? Like come together as in like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever beef, whatever about it's not, it's not, it's not that serious, bro. Because at the end of the day. We we all in this music to win. Win. Is it? So you know what I'm saying? You basketball example. You know, it's one star player on the team, everybody else trash. They're not gonna win, bro. They gonna they gonna win some games. They're not yeah. gonna they're not gonna be they're not even no gonna chance. be in the final they're probably not even gonna be in the playoffs. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. As in everybody is two star players, a couple role players. A look, a one star. You feel what I'm saying? Good coach. Yeah. They have a better chance than winning. It's, you know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, I, I, I definitely feel you. Yeah. Like, I always say like, I don't feel like everybody. I don't feel like everybody should come together, but I feel like everybody should be on the same page. Everybody should be on the same. We don't. Page. I don't feel like we have no opportunities for people to actually well, we be gotta, on the same page. We got to create. I mean, Everybody not gonna be for it though. Like we can't, but the, I feel like the people who is with it should come together. Like I don't know, like what? Like I don't know. If we should do like a conference, like a town hall meeting, and just let people, you know, 
voice to everybody. Everybody got a I just think this, bro. When they, when everybody like get older and stuff like that, they gonna realize that we could have did this. Yeah. We could have did that, bro. We could have been there at this beat ten plus years ago. We you shouldn't have did this to him. You shouldn't have said nothing about this partner. Any of that. In the future, none of this, all this beef. When when they oh, or uh, when time go by. They're not gonna be thinking about no beef no more. It's gonna be another generation. It's gonna be another, you know what I'm saying? Right. Different set. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna be worried about that no more. Nah, right. So right. why are you stuck on this now? How old are you, bro? I'm 20. 20. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, I feel like, I mean, bro, you, you one of the leaders of the new school, man. You can help. Yeah. Make that happen though. Like sure. so. Uh, let me ask you this. Is there any artist in the city you want to work with that you see that you like? Yeah, I like, I like this shit. I want to, you know, I want to get a studio with. Who haven't I worked with? Montana, Montana Sam Money. Yeah. He hard. But I worked with him. Oh, yeah. I did. I'm sure. Damn. I did. Yeah, 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 for sure. Hey, Kevin yeah. got bands getting in your piece? Cash page. For sure. Super for hard. sure. For sure. Man, Kevin yeah. got bands in the beat, man. I feel like he won them once. He won them once. Yeah. But shit, uh, what's some of your goals? My goals is just with this producer, just try to, you know, like help other producers to show, help the community, and you know, make 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 some money while I'm sleeping with this producer, bro. On on the building, feel what I'm saying? And it's coming for sure, for sure. So do you feel like the music business is still open? You said what? The music business is still lucrative. Like you can still make a lot of money in music. Yeah. You just got you just gotta go you gotta go your you gotta go the correct way about it now. It's it's kinda getting oversaturated. So that means if you wanna be in music, you gotta think outside the box. Don't do what everybody else doing. Yeah. Yeah. Like what, what what you think makes a hit record? Uh it's kinda you know now it's, it's not even about like, sometimes, well most of the time it's not even about like, skill, bro. Mm -hmm. Feel what I'm saying? And sometimes it is music that come out that's good. But most of the time, people just like the way that they are. Their personality, you know, they can relate to them, not to the music, but to them. Yeah. Make them like the song, it can be man, catchy. So, so, man, so but, you don't think good music is? No, good music exists. It's still music that comes out that's good. I'm not saying that. Yeah. But it's it's starting to be like, you know, the TikTok, you know, songs. Yeah. In a way, it's good for people who, you know what I'm saying, new to music and whatnot, but at the same time, it's kind of killing it at the same time. Because nah, it's, like, it's like, it's like, huh? Go ahead, my bad. It's like, it's like, it's like defeating the skill of it. If you, if you just ring to her ear and you just like, you know what I'm saying, it's a repeated part of the song or whatever. It's kind of defeating the purpose of music itself for you to accept it as an art. Now it's like, you know. Just that part. Just that part. You I ain't gonna lie, there's a lot of TikTok songs. I only know that part. When the rest of the yeah. song come on, I be like, man, this song really sucks. Exactly, yeah. And it's kind of just, it's just kind of destroying the art a little bit. It's kind of destroying the art a little bit. And, you know, it make people not even want to listen to their song. I feel like. Right now, music is super hard to make a hit song. Because yeah. us as consumers, we really don't care about the music no more. Like, I, but I really feel like people that's making music not making music that's relatable to everybody. Yeah. Like, we're not hearing songs about, like, love songs and yeah. struggle songs. Like, I feel like everybody who come out with, with, with music like that, they win. Yeah. In my opinion. That's true. So, you know what I'm saying? But you got to realize, like, just because this person pop this way, that don't mean you gonna pop like that. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? You all about Tama too. Like, just cause he rap about shooting and killing and all that, and you try to rap about that, you don't know what that man been through or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Vice versa, he don't know what you've been through. Just speak from the heart on the music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just speak from your experiences. That's how the best music comes apart. Sure. When somebody is making a hit, it's very little, very little time, it's very, very slim. 
where they're gonna be like, I wasn't feeling it like that. Or, you know, it, it, it can be like that. But when the hit song is made, they'll be like, bro, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even really think nothing of it. It was just another day, or it was just regular. And it kind of just flowed out because you wouldn't really capping in your song, or you wouldn't really telling no, you know, you weren't really flogging in your song. And that's how real music come out. Now so let me ask you this, bro, because like a lot of these artists, they go to jail, they catch a recos. Uh, do you feel like rappers should really incorporate, like if they really out here doing whatever they, they talking about in their music, so they really incorporate that in the music. Mm -hmm. But do we at the same time, we want to know that they really doing it. So is, is it the consumer fault? It's not that nigga's trash? It, it's not the consumer fault. It's, it's they fault for putting it in there though. Yeah. Why, why is us consumers worried about what they really doing? Just listen to the music. I mean, they, that's the our culture though. It is, but at the same time, but I, so you referring to like, you know what I'm saying, drill music and stuff like that, I'm right? I'm saying, bro, I, to be honest, like I don't hear a new song and that's, maybe it's just like, but I'm some saying, of the music I promote. But I don't hear a song that the nigga ain't talking about spinning, killing. But let me tell you something, bro. It's gonna be a minute, it's gonna be a time where all that's gonna be dead. People gonna be tired of hearing it. I'm tired of them people now. I'm tired of it. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna become, it's gonna, music is, especially rap, it's gonna change. Cause we done heard how many times that he thought about killing somebody, fantasizing about killing somebody. Him trying to, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. We done heard a million different ways on how they can do that. Well, so so all like, I'm saying is it's gonna be a time where rap is gonna change. For sure. Yeah. You ever think they'll ban rap? Mm, that's a good question, bro. But if they do ban it, people gotta be creative. It's a lot of people that I mean, bro, a lot of rappers have been dying and yeah. a lot of rappers have been going to jail. Like a rapper, I, I get online, I see a new rapper dead camera every other day. That's true, bro. That shit, it's really sad though. That's sad. It is. Yeah, man, it's real, bro. They yeah, probably been yeah, sub drones, bro. They probably been sub sub drones. I feel like but the only one that they probably been is drill, though. That's the one. I mean, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like it ain't no sub drones or rappers all rap. It's all the same. Like niggas singing, killing niggas. It's all the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's like at this point? It ain't no everybody a drill rapper. Nah, it's not true. Who not? We don't listen to J. Cole no more, bro. I don't think the masses is listening to I just seen J. Cole do a song with Gucci Man. When? It just came out like a few days ago. Like that, that I, right. for me, exactly. For me, that just show me where rap is. Cause the song didn't even make sense to me. Uh, uh, man, who, who listened to that though? Like Who? Our culture, Larry June, okay. Our, Larry June, yes. Our culture is not listening to Kenny Lamar, no. J. Cole, Toby. they not listening to that. I don't listen to that, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I don't listen to it. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. That's me, though. Like, I ain't the masses, but mm -hmm. like from what I see, it's like the people that, that really listen to that are not our color. You feel me? Ah, uh, how did the younger people? They just not bro. I feel like people are gonna do listen to Kendrick and them, but it's just not the younger people. Yeah, nah, I don't know. Because I do, cause I, I, bro, I really listen to music. You listen to Kendrick Lamar? Oh, yes. Now, if you drop an album, you like, listen bro, to Bro, everybody gonna be talking about it. What are you talking about? Hell, people gonna be talking about it, but I ain't gonna listen to it. I give you the listen, bro. I really listen to music. I feel you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, that, that, the section 80, yeah, that was classic tape, bro, but it's like, we're not there no more. But you, but you, yeah, bro, you, you partially right. Partially, because people are color still listen to them. I don't know. I, feel, I don't feel like we're the majority of their, their fan base. I would say 30% max. I, I can feel you. I can see why you say that. I ain't never walked into a club and they playing Kenny Lamar. I never seen Kenny Lamar in Dallas. That's only besides like a, a, a festival. Yeah. What's on? Huh? Uh, 
swimming pool. Oh, okay, okay. About yeah. seven years ago. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, bro, people still listen to me, bro. But I, you write this and this people. Do, would you like? Do you like working with conscious rappers? Have you worked with a conscious rapper? A what? A conscious rapper. Have I worked with one? Nah. That's my point right there. You're right. You're right. <laughs> That's my point right there. I'm not gonna cap. You're right though, bro. You're right about that. We need some conscious rapping with a Ziggy Made, man. I want I, maybe that that influence me to listen to him because this is like, bro, like, like, don't get me wrong, like when J Cole drops certain songs, like that that shake shit up, I'm, I'm gonna listen to it, but it's not like it's not like you, it's your go-to. I'm never gonna get in the car and be like J Cole, never. But he, he got pe he got people that do that. That do that. I agree. Can't, can't, can't. Are they black people though? Bro, yes, bro. <laughs> they, bro, come on, bro. Man, bro, that's all old. Them classics. Them classics, but he, you partially right. I'm not going to count. You partially right about that. Man. I give you that. But at the same time, all these rap you talking about is drill is going to die, bro. I agree. I feel like we're getting back to real music, or at least. Better sound than you. Better sound than you. But from I, I I watched a podcast the other day, bro, and uh I I can't remember the name of the podcast, but dude was talking about like the people at the label really only paying attention to like numbers and what's going on like Spotify numbers and monthly. They, they going for that because you know what I'm saying drill and you know what I'm saying ratchet music selling right now. Can't. What I'm saying is, do you still believe in building an artist from scratch, like? Like seeing somebody, he might not have the numbers, he might not have the fan base, but he got the talent and potential. I still believe in that. You always, you always gotta believe in that as a producer. That's you our job. He's just being bad. Yeah, he needs something to fund his career too. Yeah, yeah the bag is definitely but, important. But I'm saying this, we out as a producer, we have to believe in that. Mm. We you're producing the artists. Yeah, but I mean, bro, like right now you got a bunch of. High level artists, like everybody not, a, not everybody not on that level, you know. Yeah. To where it's like everybody make can't afford this even made it be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the nigga can like he can make something out of nothing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If he if he had the right look or the right push. But I don't know, but you shouldn't be rapping in if you can't find your career. It's a lot of rappers that rap and cannot find their career. Well then, how they gonna how they gonna? That's, that's the time we living in though. I feel like the internet made people think they, they could just get in the studio, put a song on TikTok. Then put, they then they really get in here and they, they don't, it's not it's not that. But you can't, they, you can't tell them it's not that though. How many rappers you know that's like, bro, I'm hard. I'm this, I'm that, but they don't not, have, that. like, what do you have to show me that? Well then, it takes them to realize that it's not that. They got it, they got it, bro, come on, bro. <laughs> I can't just sit up here and just tell you, bro, I, you can't do this, you can't, because you gonna go in here and think you just finna blow up and do two, one day? No, sir, it's not like that. I, I, I've been doing this for five years, bro. Four years, five years, bro. I've been doing this since I was 15. And it wasn't, you know what I'm saying, I got cold fast, but at the same time, I'm still growing. I'm still growing. And it's not like, it's definitely a process. You got it, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these people, like you said, want to blow up in one day, two days. You know what I'm saying? Do they really believe in themselves? Do they really oh, feel no, like... I didn't, I didn't talk to a lot, bro. Artists, like, bogart me with their music all day, every day, bro. Like, they just be sending to, me music. To, to think you going to blow up in this damn age for a long time, be a step in the game. With no bag at all, it's delusional. It's how, delusional. how much you think an artist needs, bro? Whatever, whatever, bro. Whatever you gotta do, bro. Cause it's never no certain number, bro. Yeah. It's never no certain. Like, what's a good starter, bro? I feel like, especially here in Dallas, bro. A lot of people just like. I feel like a lot of artists get ripped off. I ain't gonna lie. Not even just here in Dallas, everywhere, but artists is getting ripped off. Like people. As in how? Like they spend the money on shit that ain't gonna help their career at all. Like a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I don't know, like maybe like it's like it's the game so messed up, bro. I be seeing fake pages with fake followers. They paying oh, for Oh, they they paying for they paying for promo for, for people that, okay, that ain't gonna ain't um, gonna do nothing for them. But I mean like but I think about it like this. 
that's somebody dream, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of people dream, like, damn, I really can't, if I pay this, I'm gonna make it. Like, not knowing, I feel like, me personally, I feel like as an artist and you paying for shit, every little thing counts. Yeah. But certain shit is like, come on, bro, you should know better. Like, look at the results. Like, yeah. like. But you can't say they're getting ripped off, bro. Cause they spend their money on the wrong thing. How they gonna get ripped off? That's fit. I mean, cause bro, if, 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 if I know I can't, if I know I can't do something for you, yeah. I'm not gonna t- tell you this is thirty five hundred for me to do this, yeah. and then don't shit happen for you. I, I would feel bad. Yeah. Then you still gotta walk around this other. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? At the same time, okay, he spends money on that. Sometimes they'll keep spending their money on that though. You gotta learn from that. You feel what I'm saying? I don't feel like some sometimes artists can get ripped off. They get sold a dream. Before before you hop into anything, bro, you do your research. That's just life period, bro. Before you jump into anything. Before you, before before I even touched a key, made a beat, I looked up what it's producing. What is look up YouTube video tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> you everybody got the same twenty four hours, bro. No, no, no. If you if that's every, at the end of the day is your fault. At the end of the day, whatever happened to you is your fault. Before you jump into something, you research it, bro. You know what I'm saying? It didn't take like two, three seconds. Yeah, phone is a motherfucker too. Researching and studying, it's just kind of the same thing, but me, I've studied it. I'm like, okay, this is what I'm finna do. Then, you know, started from square one. Now, we're here. We're here right now. We're progressing. Sure. Believe in yourself, bro. You know, it don't matter how long it take or whatever. You know, it's gonna be long nights. It's gonna be long nights. It's, sometimes it's gonna be lonely nights. Feel what I'm saying? But you gotta just stick through it, bro, and like just keep your head up and believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? From where I'm from, bro, I'm the youngest. I'm the I'm you know, I'm paving the way from for people who are younger than me who wanna do this. And I'm t- I'm showing them that this is possible. You don't have to be no, you know what I'm saying, where everybody else be. You can be, you can be whatever you want to be, bro. You don't gotta be like everybody else, bro. That's what make that's what make me stand out. People don't know me for cause and havoc or you know what I'm saying? They make me they know me for being a cool dude and producing hits. That's what they know me for. What you gonna leave, what you what you gonna leave on the world, bro? It's up to you, family. You know what I'm saying? Talk. For sure. Talk. Just believe talk. in yourself, bro. Stay down, bro. Stay down until you come up. See it. For sure. Now tell the people where they can follow up on you, bro. Uh at Ziggy made it. On Instagram, at Ziggy Mady, two on phone, TikTok, at one Ziggy Mady on Twitter. So. Now, can we expect another compilation tape soon? Yeah, next year or the end of this year. And what you call it? Ziggy Mady, compilation volume two. Okay. Yes, sir. So. I appreciate you pulling up, my boy.